In this video, we're going to be going over what methyl, primary, secondary, and tertiary hydrogen atoms are. Because th this classification becomes pretty important in under understanding reactivity of alkanes to halogenation, that is free radical halogenation, as well as reactions of haloalkanes, so that's the nucleophilic substitution and elimination. So, I'm going to illustrate this via example. So, let's look at methane here. CH4. All the hydrogens here are attached to a carbon that's only attached to hydrogens. This carbon atom in methane is not attached to any other carbon atom. So, we call these hydrogens here, we call them methyl hydrogens. Put HS. Now let's look at ethane, C2H6 or CH3, CH3. Now when you look at ethane, all the hydrogen atoms on this carbon, they're attached to a carbon that's attached to one other carbon atom. So the carbon atom that all of these hydrogens are attached to is only attached to one other carbon atom. Now the carbon atom that each of these three hydrogens is attached to is also only attached to one other carbon atom. That's this one, right? So we call these hydrogens because the carbon that they're attached to is only attached to one other carbon atom. We call them primary hydrogens. Now what about let's let's look at a little bit more complicated example here. So let's say we had we had this molecule here. I'll pause it and finish drawing it. Okay, so what about this molecule here? These hydrogen atoms are attached to a carbon that's only attached to one other carbon. So these are these are primary hydrogens. There are three of them here. The two hydrogen atoms on this carbon are attached. Th th this carbon here that's attached to these two hydrogen atoms are attached is attached to two other carbon atoms, right? So these hydrogens here are attached to a carbon that's itself attached to only two other carbon atoms so we call we call these secondary hydrogens and should have put H's here so these three hydrogens are primary because the carbon that they're attached to is only attached to one other carbon these two hydrogens are secondary because the carbon they're attached to is only attached is attached to two other carbon atoms what about this hydrogen here? Well, the carbon it's attached to is attached to one, two, three carbon atoms, right? So this one is a tertiary hydrogen, this hydrogen right here. Now these three hydrogens are attached to a carbon that's only attached to one carbon atom. You have to look at the how many carbon atoms the one the hydrogens are attached to is attached to? I know that sounds like a tongue twister. But so you can't, if you're looking at these hydrogens here and trying to decide whether they're primary, secondary, tertiary, methyl, you can't look at this carbon and see how many carbon atoms it's attached to. You have to look at this carbon atom because it's the carbon atom the hydrogens are attached to. So these hydrogens here would be be methyl, or sorry, they'd be primary hydrogens. This carbon's only attached to one other carbon atom. Now this carbon atom actually doesn't have any hydrogens attached to it. It's attached to four carbon atoms. So we don't have to worry about this one. This this carbon atom, which is attached to the three hydrogens, so the three hydrogens on this carbon atom 
or primary, this one's because this carbon atom is only attached to one other carbon atom. So primary. And hopefully you can see that these are also primary as well. So if you wanted to add up how many primary hydrogens this molecule has, well, it has three from this carbon, three from this carbon, three from this carbon, three from this carbon, and three from this carbon. So that's three plus three plus three plus three plus three five times. Three times five is fifteen. This carbon's attached to two secondary hydrogens. The hydrogens attach this carbon. Attached to a carbon that's attached to two carbons, right? So these are secondary. This is the these are the only two secondary hydrogens in this molecule. So, so there's 15 primary hydrogens. There's two secondary hydrogens. Uh, this should be uppercase uppercase H, lowercase S. And there's only one tertiary hydrogen. Now, if I wanted to draw the more condensed bond line representation of this molecule, it would look it would look like here. Well, let me draw it this way. It would look like this, and uh, you can tell the hydrogens attached to this carbon are primary. Because this carbon is only attached to this one. The ones attached to this carbon are secondary, so I'm, I'm just going to put here primary. The ones attached to this carbon are secondary. This carbon is attached to two carbon atoms. The ones attached to this carbon are tertiary. Because this carbon is attached to one, two, three carbons. And the one attached to this are primary, right? There are no hydrogens attached to this carbon. But these three are primary as well because the carbons are only attached to one other carbon. Now let's look at one more example here. Okay, so the hydrogens attached here, remember they're we just fill in hydrogen so that carbon would have four bonds attached to it. So there'd be three here, two here, two here, and so forth. The ones attached to this carbon here would be primary because this carbon is only attached to this carbon. The ones attached to this carbon would be secondary. This carbon's attached to two carbons, this one and this one, right? The ones here would also be secondary for the same reason. This carbon has no hydrogen atoms attached to it. And the ones attached to this, this, and this would, would all be primary because the only carbon atom that these three carbon atoms are attached to is this one. So hopefully, hopefully you see how this works.